So, yes, winter storm warning in the pink, winter storm watch in the blue. The reason why they are different is because there's two offices for the National Weather Service that control our area. So, Columbiana, Lawrence, and Mercer County, you guys are controlled by the Pittsburgh office, and the Cleveland office takes over Trumbull and Mahoning County. So, each have a pretty similar forecast, though, possibly up to a foot of snow. We'll talk more about that here in just a little bit. Cloudy skies here for our Valentine's Day. Get anything done right now as best as possible. If you have to travel, now's the best time to do it because, look, we have nothing across the Great Lakes region for right now, but we're tracking that storm down to the south and off towards the Midwest. These two are going to be making one mess of the next 48 hours for not just here in the valley, but for areas all across our region. But we do have cloudy skies as we take a live look outside over East Liverpool. Chilly start, cuddle weather for our Valentine's. Breakfast in bed, we have temperatures at about 23 degrees. If you're thinking about going out for breakfast, you know, not too bad, but be careful of any kind of slick roads out there because there may be some black ice from the freezing drizzle that happened for last night. We do have winds out of the north at about 7 miles per hour, so it's making it feel a little bit cooler. However, mostly cloudy skies, not looking at any kind of snow really for today. We didn't pick up much in accumulation from yesterday because we saw mostly freezing drizzle. Well, tonight, we do have the winter storm starting up, and we're likely already going to wake up with a little bit of snow by tomorrow morning. Lows falling down into the mid-teens, so this is going to be also a very cold system that we're dealing with because we have cold air coming in from Canada. So as we time it out here with the latest future tracker, here's the snow already starting up early tomorrow morning, and then we push the clock forward into tomorrow afternoon. Notice now a lot of the bulk of the snow has gone away. That means we're going to get a slight break in the snow tomorrow afternoon. Slight break, but then the heavier stuff is coming in tomorrow evening, and then it's going to last on into Tuesday morning. Notice widespread dark shaded blue. This is heavy, wet, slushy snow really starting to accumulate on top of each other for tomorrow night going into Tuesday morning. Now, there is a slight chance we may actually have some freezing rain mixed in with that. If it does happen, well, we could have some icing over of the surfaces, even though they may or may not have been plowed or treated. So it's going to be very messy over the next couple of days. In total, through Tuesday, I'm thinking we're probably going to see between about 8 to 12 inches of snow on the ground for most of the valley. Notice this blue area. That's more of the 5 to 8 range. Reason why is because if we have any of that freezing rain shift up into the valley, that's going to hinder some of those snow totals. So you may not exactly see a foot, but I mean, 5 inches of snow is still a lot, folks. So everyone's going to be seeing snow, and everyone's going to be dealing with some kind of travel issues over the next couple of days, but that's not it. We now have to watch out for Thursday. Another winter storm will be making impacts there, and we're likely going to be seeing a wintry mix of rain and snow, and also the possibility of sleet and freezing rain once again. It is going to be a very busy work week travel-wise, but let's go ahead and focus on storm number one. The snow is going to be a high risk travel issues, very likely widespread all across the region. Avoid travel as much as possible. If you can work from home, please do it. Make sure you have that emergency kit ready to go with food, water, flashlight, some of those candles for the heat, a lighter to make sure that you have some of those candles ready to go. You're going to need everything that you possibly can in case you lose power, and it's also very cold outside. Keep that in mind. We're not going above freezing until at least later on into the week. Slight chance for freezing rain, that's a medium risk for a Monday night. It could or could not happen. If it does, that's going to ice over some of the roadways as well. It is just going to be very much a messy time. Get all those errands done and preparations done today for your Valentine's and enjoy the holiday while we can. And then Wednesday, we have one dry day, but still left behind with a lot of snow on the ground. We actually go above freezing with the second winter storm, but that's going to be posing the issues with the wintry mix along with it. Let's go ahead and get through storm number one before we talk about storm number two, but just go ahead and prepare for a very busy weather work week.